Welcome back to AM Northwest. Did you ever have one of those days at work where you just can't get motivated? Here to share what to do when you don't feel like doing anything. We welcome back the author of Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job, Darcy Eichenberg. Hi, Darcy. How are you? Hey, Helen. I'm good. How are you? Well, outside of people wanting me to retire, I'm pretty good. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about this because I, I'm thinking, too, with the pandemic that people are just exhausted. People are exhausted for so many reasons, yeah. right? The, the pandemic, for all the challenges in our workplaces, all the challenges in our lives, in our world, for goodness sake. So, you know, I think that when we have those days, and we all have them, we're all human. We have those days, we've got to make sure we're not beating ourselves up and saying, oh man, what a slug am I today? Yeah. Why don't I feel like doing things? We've got to accept the fact that everybody has those days, and it's normal. Are you seeing a lot more people getting frustrated with their jobs right now? I think that there are places and times when you know, emotion can be contagious. Right. And so there are people who are absorbing in everything that's going on in the world and right. in the places of work. And it can you can get very frustrated. But, you know, we always have control over three things, what we say, what we think, and what we do. And sometimes we just need to take back control over what do I really think about this before we let it pull us down into a way that gets us stuck and in a trap that we don't want to be in. Do we have control over what we think? Well, you know, actually, the, the biology is there are fleeting thoughts, but you can catch those thoughts and you can make a choice about what thought to stick with because okay. it's the positive thoughts that move us forward. The negative thoughts actually hold us back. Emotion puts us in motion. So we can see a situation exactly as it is and we can make a negative story out of it or a positive story out of it. So when we learn to take back control, over some of those thoughts, yeah. we can end up having a better experience at work and I think in our lives too. So you mentioned stop beating yourself up and then you also suggest that you should track what you do do. Yeah, isn't it amazing how much we actually do during a day, both professionally and personally, but we take it for granted. We sit at the end of the day and say, what did I do today? So I suggest that when you have those days where you just don't feel like doing anything, start writing down at the end of every day everything you did. You know, truth is, most of us in the working world, we make our jobs look easy. We know how to do them. We show up, we do our thing, but we don't recognize that we manage through all these different situations. So tracking what you do is a great way to make you remind yourself of the progress that you're making every single day. Okay, good point. And then get some rest, which sounds really important right now. Oh, the, the mind and body connection is so well researched now, and we know that rest isn't just a luxury. Rest is actually productive. You know, for those of us who are like, oh, well, I can't rest. There's so much to do. Rest is actually a way to be able to get more done. So making sure that you're taking your time for rest, even if it's just a minute of closing your eyes uh, in the middle of the day, just to kind of hit that reset button. Rest is really important. Okay. And take one action. We, we believe that there's the old conventional wisdom that says, well, I have to feel like taking action before I take action. But the truth is, taking an action, even just a small action, can help us take the next action and the oh. next action. So we can't wait to have the feelings change. We can change our feelings by changing what we're doing. So right. have that conversation, schedule that meeting, schedule that time off you can take an action that doesn't have to be the perfect action but it starts moving you forward you also say remember why you fell in love with your career yeah well, there's a reason that we all get into the things that we're doing and maybe things do change and maybe do things do move on but there was a reason what was it was it people was it the difference that you can make was it that you're really good at it and you feel proud of the things that you're doing? This is a good time when you're having that feeling like, I don't want to do anything. Just get back in touch with that and say, you know what? I do make a difference for the people that I work with. Or I do make a difference for the end state of the product that I create or the service that I deliver. Getting back in touch with that can be so important to make you remember why 
getting up and right. getting to work and doing your thing is important to begin with. I can see why, especially right now when we're, we're really working via Zoom, a lot of people are working via Zoom, and if you love being around people, how that could just make you feel right now, this is not, your, while we're talking, we're not around people, that energy that you get from another person, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, well, I believe this isn't virtual like you're real i'm real right you might not be in the same place but i think there are ways that we can keep connecting and recognize that even though we have screens and screens can screen out emotion and connection that we just have to work a little bit harder to maybe ask a better question to really think about the other person and right. even if we don't feel like we're as connected we can do the things we can make different choices to stay more connected and if we need more connection we just have to reach out. Right. We just have to ask for it. Right, exactly. Well, I want to tell everyone the book again is titled Red Cape Rescue. Darcy Eichenberg, thank you very much. Great talking with you. Oh, nice to see you, Helen. Take good care. Don't you retire too. too soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.